Well, Falcons tight end Hayden Hurst has been very, uh, very open about his personal fight with depression. His story has touched millions of people. It's even led his family to start the Hayden Hurst Foundation. So he joins us now to talk about his second chance and breaking the stigma surrounding mental health. And Hayden, it's so good to have you with us. Good morning. Morning. Thank you so much for having me on. So, so for those who may not be familiar with what happened, with your story, with, with all of the, the buzz surrounding this, let's, let's start by having you share just a little bit about your, your personal battle with depression and, and how you know, the world learned about all of this. Right, yeah, so when I graduated high school, I got drafted by the Pittsburgh Pirates and I was in their minor league system for about three years. And when I got there, I didn't have much success and I developed a condition called the yips. And it's actually a mental thing where there's just like a disconnect between your motor functions. So I'd be standing on a foul line trying to play catch with a partner and my hands would be like shaking and I'd be, my hands would be sweating and I'd spike the ball, I'd overthrow it. And it was just so bizarre, you know, and I spent thousands of dollars on therapy, hypnosis, mm -hmm. anything that I could really think of that could potentially help me and nothing, nothing ever really worked. And it really affected me off the field too. And, and unfortunately I started drinking and, and using drugs and things like that, kind of anything that I could get my hands on to numb that feeling of embarrassment. And uh, I think in 2015, I decided to hang up baseball and then walked on at South Carolina. And um, <clears throat> one night in 2016, you know, attempted suicide. And um, it kind of took that come to Jesus moment for me to turn my life around. And then in 2018, was drafted by Baltimore. And that's when me, my mom, my dad, and my sister created the Hayden Hurst Family Foundation. Mm -hmm. And was lucky enough to get traded to Atlanta last year. And really it was the best thing that could have happened for me and my family because my sister works in Atlanta. She works in Stone Mountain. She's a veterinarian mm -hmm. and home is Jacksonville. So it's only four and a half hours. Perfect. It really is. I mean, it's and of course, <laughs> of course, we're happy to have you here. No doubt about that. But but all of this really came to light because of a because of a conversation that you had with with Dak Prescott and, and some things that were said there. So so tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, you know, I was lucky enough to get mic'd up for our game against Dallas and towards the end of the game, you know, I, I totally even forgot that I was mic'd up and I just went over to him because he came out with a similar story, you know, how he was, his family was affected by mental health and, and suicide. And he kind of got some backlash from the media, which I thought was completely outrageous. And again, you know, I forgot that I was even mic'd up, but you know, God works in mysterious ways and it, it created a viral moment when I went up to him and kind of just told him, you know, I feel for you, I, you know, I support you. And, you know, I'm a huge Dak Prescott fan to this day. You know, it's, it was one of those moments it, it touched so many people because it seems like for so long, you know, any kind of, of mental health issue has been swept under the rug and people don't always feel comfortable coming forward and, and talking about it. And, and you have just really helped to remove a lot of the stigma that's associated with that. I mean, it has to feel good, Hayden, to know that you're, you're helping so many more people than what you even realize. Oh, absolutely. You know, when the Falcons created that video, I think it reached almost 9 million people on all their social media platforms. And for me, it's just, it's so humbling because I always tell people when I do interviews and things like that, like I, I could care less about retweets and likes and things like that. My point in telling my story is to put it out there. So hopefully some kid can see it and they can relate to it and maybe make a different decision and choose a different path than I did. You know, the video that you're talking about, Hayden, we're actually showing that right now, and it's video of that the Falcons made, uh, and you're watching it, and it's of people saying thank you and just talking about, you know, the difference that the, you coming out and talking about this has made in their lives. It's so powerful, and it's so cool to see, you know, how, how it's impacted you, too, to see the difference that you've made. I mean, it's, it's just one of those wow moments. It really is. It is. I mean, they, the Falcons media team did such a great job with both of those videos. And um, just to see the feedback, you know, that's what keeps me going, you know, because it is hard getting up and, you know, every week or every other day telling, you know, my whole story because there's so many intimate details in it. But when I see people respond the way that they do and they, they relate to it and they tell me, oh, my mom, you know, she committed suicide or my brother suffers from addiction, you know, your story and, and me watching this video has completely changed my life. Mm -hmm. it, it's that's why I keep telling it and that's why I keep going. Sure, it makes it worth it. It really does. Okay, let's talk about the Hayden Hurst Foundation. You guys have a, a an upcoming golf tournament that you want to talk about. This is benefiting the foundation. So tell us a little bit about that, Hayden. Yeah, absolutely. So it's on March 29th. That's going to be our Atlanta tournament. And all the funds and all the proceeds that we generate just go towards giving back in whatever community that we raise the funds in. So in Atlanta, it's going to go to us funding the school curriculum called social and emotional wellness training. 
And that's really the big core thing that the Hayden Hurst Family Foundation is working on right now. And we're targeting kindergarten through eighth grade, um, kind of our target range, because we think, you know, if we can help tool these kids in, to deal with trauma and depression and things like that at a young age, when things happen in life later down the road, they have something to fall back on. Mm, wonderful idea. Hoping there's a huge turnout for that and a lot of money is raised. And making such a big impact on the field and off the field too, Hayden. Thank you so much for, for sharing your story, for being so open about it, and of course for joining us right here on Good Day. We appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for having me on. And for more on the Hayden Hurst Family Foundation and the upcoming golf tournament, you can go to fox5atlanta.com. Just look for the viewer information story. Such a powerful story he has, no doubt.